Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT Technologies and this is Sudhakar and today we are going to discussing about uh, complex views. In my previous video session, uh, we are going to discussing what exactly view and the view uh, how it will be work and uh, later the view types uh, we discuss like uh, two types of views are there. One is simple view and the second one is we call complex views. So simple view we discussed in the last video session. I said to you simple view uh, when we want to create means uh, when, when you want to create and when you want to use means whenever you want to access uh, one table or a single table data if you want to access through a view then it is called a simple view and uh, but when you go for to access multiple tables data okay so whenever you want to access multiple tables data so there we are going to using what now complex views. And uh, I said uh, the given the differences, that means the definitions and differences in between simple and complex view in the last video session I was uh, discussed with you. And uh, today we are going to discuss in this video session uh, what is complex view and the complex views how to create on multiple base tables, okay. And uh, we discussed like complex views are not supported DML operations, okay. When you try to perform any DML operations on base table through complex view, so that operations are not uh, supported. So that uh, why it is not supported, okay. So what is the reason, okay, we will go to check out in this video session, okay. Let us see now, I will go for my first one. So complex views, I am going to here, complex views, okay. So first we will check out the complex view definition, what exactly means. Okay, so when we create, when we create a view, create a view to access the required data, to access the required data from multiple, from multiple base tables, base tables at a time. Okay. So, when we are going to create, so when we are creating, when we create a view to access the required data from multiple base tables, then it is called as what now, complex views we call. But what we the problem here and what is the problem here means, complex views are does not support DML operations. So, it can support only one operation that is select statement, but it cannot support DML operations here, okay. So, complex view supports, it supports. It supports select command, it supports select command, command only, okay. So it supports select command only, but, but we can't perform, okay, but, but we cannot, uh, but we cannot uh, perform, perform DML operations. So DML operations, sir, we can't perform through complex view on base tables. Okay. So, this is what simple I can say complex view definition, but either complex view or simple view anyway or any type of view if you want to create then both are having the same syntax I am going to taking now and uh, I just remind your syntax now what is the syntax means okay create view view name okay. This view name means either complex view name or else a simple view name as select star from, from table name and table names because your table name means either you can take multiple tables also, okay. Select a star from table name. So this is what I said the creation of view syntax and now we will go for, I will show you the complex view I said this view is going to accessing the data from multiple base tables now. So that means first I have to prepare the multiple base tables I am going to preparing in my database and later I am creating a view on the multiple tables and later accessing the data, okay. While accessing the data then you can see whether DML operations are supported or not, okay. Let us see now. So I just go to open my SQL Server Management Studio, okay. Later I just connected here, after connected to take my new query option, 
Okay. So, let us see now I am going to selecting uh, one data which is there, your my class, I selected your my class now. So, just now I just, uh, yes, yeah. So, I will select your my class and in this my class, okay, in this my class database, first I am going to preparing my base tables. So, I am going to prepare the two base tables I am preparing here, create table EMP underscore Hyderabad and here I am preparing so EID and E name I am preparing your worker of some size, some salary was money data type. Okay, it is one table I prepared here, same to same second table I am going to preparing now, but I just change my table name because duplicate names are not accepted. So, that is why I am changing here my table name and I am passing here Chennai and to executor now. After that what I want to do now the two tables after created, the two tables is created okay and these tables are saved into my database my class, I just open this okay now yes fine okay the two tables are saved here, one is Hyderabad and one is uh, Chennai okay fine. Now what I want to do, I am going to inserting some data into this base tables okay, so I just go to edit and we know that how to insert uh, through GUI and this is what we can say our table and I will insert it now, one not one, some name I want to take here for example, some name Adams 85,000 and 102, I will take James 15,000, 103, I will take here Warner, Warner 32,000 and 104. I am taking here Jones, okay, it was uh, for example 18,000 rupees salary. So, these are the four employees information I was taken in a Hyderabad table, I just keep it now. In the same pattern one more table is the Chennai, okay, I just come back and to take edit and in Chennai also I am going to take now. So, here I am taking your 101 Adams 85,000 and 105. I am taking a Scott 55,000 and 106, I will take here LN okay, and 25,000. So, these are three records and there are three employees I inserted in this okay, second base table. And now, I just come back here, okay, the two table information was uh, inserted and I just call these two tables. So, select a star from EMP underscore Hyderabad. And next one is what now? Select a star from EMP underscore Chennai. Okay. So, now what has happened to execute this two and see that whatever we inserted the data into your tables now and this information you can see now. See now, now we have here so employee IDs, employee names, and salaries, and second table employee ID, name, salary. And here I was taking the common column, but this is uh, not uh, in there is no reason to take my common column here and common record whatever it was there, okay. Uh, there is no just I am taking your one, one common record I was taken, but why I was taking means there is no reason here I am taking. But when I want to use set operators, I think we know already we previous uh, classes we discussed set operators. Set operators, what is happening here? union, union, all intersect minus operators are there, the except operators. So, at the time what has happened here, uh, when you want to take a union operator we discussed, uh, it was going to combining all tables data together without having any duplicates. But in the same pattern if you want to use union all, then it was combining the two tables data with the duplicates. So, that is actually the reason union, union all, okay, why I was taking this common record, okay. But here uh, in this I do not mind it because I do not want it uh, here to take uh, uh, my set operates or whatever it is, I am going to creating my view, okay. But in this creation of view, I am going to using some set operators operations, okay. So, that is why I am taking my tables in such a manner and later I want to go to create a view, okay. So, now this uh, common record is not uh, that was uh, you do not want to take this one, okay, just I am taking normally. So, now what is happening you can see. So, these are the two tables and I can say these are the two base tables now. 
Now what I want to do now from these two base tables, from these two base tables, I want to access my data through a view. So now that means here I am going to creating one view, but this view I am going to creating to accessing from multiple base tables. My point understand now. So that is why whenever you want to create a view for accessing the data from multiple tables, then it is called as a complex views. Okay. So now I just go to create now. So create view and view name I want to say complex view one I was given as so as here I want to take my two tables means either you can use join operation okay so joins also you can use to combining two tables okay and later you can create a view okay in same to same either you can take joins but here I am taking set operator okay I am taking set operators then what I am going to do now by using the set operator the two tables I am going to combining together and later I will create a complex view okay so now select star from EMP underscore Hyderabad later I am using your union operator select star from EMP underscore Chennai so this is what now the things uh, I was created okay so that means first by using set operator what I did here I am going to combining these two tables and later I am creating a view on these two tables data to accessing purpose so this uh, query I am going to execute it now command is success and uh, come back here object explorer and we have a views folder is there yes so we created a complex view okay dbo cvx complex view is there if you want to expand this one see what is happening here columns triggers and statistics are there but here see so columns columns means what is happening here in the two table uh, set operates what it will do the two table data will be combining as a one table data so that's why that's same column common columns is there that's why eid e name salary was taken now okay the column names okay i just keep it now and come back here after created this view then the view is called here okay select star from my complex view is what now cv1 and 2 executed now so once i executed here cv1 and executed now now see here what has happened the two tables data is combining together okay but without having duplicate why because i am using union operator so union operator nature is what now combining two tables data as a one table without having duplicates so there is no duplicate so 101 adams okay 101 adams 85000 actually it is having the two records are there in the table but it was showing one table one record okay fine this is what the view is created and accessing the data from two tables data so this is my first table hyderabad data and this is my second table Chennai information. So the both table information is combining together and calling through view. Later what I said view is going to support it. So that means if I want to go for testing my operations here. So I want to testing now what is happening here in the testing. I just perform select operation but select operation successfully done because the operation is working and retrieving your data from multiple base tables and display okay fine but where has come to dml operations whatever it was there suppose i just perform dml operation insert into complex view values of now i am going to sending so already in my complex view how many records six records already showing now then i am sending 107 record and i am sending some name miller and some salary I am sending here 65,000. So when I try to insert a new record to multiple base tables through a complex view, what is happened you can see it was giving error. What it was saying that update or insert of view or a function CV1 failed because it contains because it contains a derived or constant fields. Okay, so that means whatever uh, the constant columns are there here, those are fixed columns. Okay, so those are derived or constant fields. So that means constant field data I can't uh, change. Okay, this is what it was giving error message. In the same to same, if I want to go to done any update operation, okay, on this. Otherwise, before that, I just come out and see to execute this one. Okay, I just go to execute. Now see that. 107 is not happened in my complex view it does not show it because 107 is not accepted by complex view and in the same to same what I want to do in the next view, next one 
next DML operation update CV1 set sal is equals to 20,000 where EID is equals to 101. But actually 101 sal, how much was there here? 85,000 is there, but I am going to change as a 20,000 and to execute now, again it is not accepted. The same kind of the error message update or insert of view or function CV1 failed because it contains a derived or constant fields. Okay. So, even though I cannot perform my update, in the same reason if you want to come out and see that whether the update operation is done on 101 record means nothing, 85,000 is as usual it was there. In the same reason I just go to perform one more DML operation delete from okay, CV1 where suppose EID is equals to 102, I just go and execute it. So, it is also not accepted. What was saying that view CV1 is not updatable because the definition contains union operator. So, that is why okay, this is my union set operator I use now, but this is 102 is also not uh, allowed on your complex views. So, that is why what is happening here, the inset update delete these three operations I cannot perform on complex view. Okay. Uh, on complex view through to what now base table. Okay. So, this is not possible here. So, that what simply I can say complex views are supported only select a statement. Select a statement is nothing but what now reading the data. Select a statement is nothing but retrieving or reading the data. So, that means complex views is like a reading the data from multiple tables, but it cannot be write. Write means it cannot perform insert, update and delete operations. Okay. So, this, this, this is what now complex view, but in the previous video session simple view discuss, simple view is what we said here, we are accessing the data from single base table and we can perform DML operations there, okay. but here complex view DML operations are not supported, whereas simple view DML operations are supported. So, here complex view just we are going to reading the data, but we cannot write the write operation we cannot perform, but there is simple view, we can read the data and we can write the data. Okay, this is what simply I can explain about uh, simple and uh, complex views. Okay. So, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm.